They're doing drugs all the time, and I can't use that sidewalk. Neighbors are fed up with what's become of this Ballard block covered in tents, shopping carts, and other personal items. One woman says she can't get through 54th to the bus stop with her walker. But this is just unreasonable, and they need to be put in permanent housing. You want to see more action from the city? Absolutely. Our Como Cruz caught up with Green Lake Homeless Advocates Executive Director Bruce Drager as he provided outreach at the encampment like housing help. A week ago there were 10 people living here. I would say now there's 25 people living here crammed into those 12 or 13 tents. He says many people have been forced to move here from other encampments swept by the city just blocks away and some of them have moved six times in a year. And I would urge Bruce Harrell to get out in front of this and, and come up with this plan and adopt a, a real right way to do this. He applauded the work by the mayor's office and outreach groups in Ballard over the past year. Still, he says there is not enough temporary housing like tiny homes for the population most in need. And as this group awaits answers as to when there could be a sweep here. If we make the same mistake here and you don't make them a genuine offer of some sort of viable housing, they'll end up in another place. In response, Councilmember Dan Strauss says the city needs new policies to move people from shelters to those highly sought after tiny homes to make room in shelters for people moving off the streets. We continue to refine practices so that we can interrupt criminal activity as well as meet the needs of people who are down and out. Reporting in Ballard, Jackie Kent, Como News.